So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you might be newer to laser engraving. Maybe you're checking out some videos here on YouTube for the first time, or you've been combing through the online forums, and everywhere you go, you see people talking about Lightburn. You know, go get Lightburn, download Lightburn. You have to buy Lightburn right now, or your laser engravings are gonna be awful. And you might be thinking, well, what is Lightburn, and do I actually need it? And that'll be the topic of today's video. We're gonna talk about what exactly is Lightburn, then I'm gonna give you one scenario where you probably don't need it, and four scenarios where it might benefit you to try it out. Let's get started. Just a quick disclaimer, I am in no way associated with Lightburn. They aren't paying me, although my DMs are open, if you know what I mean. I'm just somebody who has used many different laser softwares throughout the years, as well as Lightburn. All right, let's give a quick and simple definition of what Lightburn actually does. Lightburn is essentially two things. One, it is a reasonably robust vector editing software where you can create, modify, or prepare vector images for laser engraving and laser cutting. If you aren't familiar with vector files, well, you soon will be. They are the main graphical file format that you'll be dealing with when you are laser engraving. If you've ever heard of Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW, Lightburn is essentially a stripped down version of those programs. So while you can't do all of the things that you would do in Adobe Illustrator in Lightburn, you can do all of the things that matter for laser work. Second and most importantly, Lightburn is an interface between you, your computer, and your laser. By itself, your laser is a pretty dumb machine. You know, it's sitting there and just waiting for instructions from you on what to do. And what Lightburn does is it takes the graphic you have on the screen there, the logo you wanna engrave on a business card, the family photo you want to engrave on a cutting board or the keychain design you want to laser cut out of leather. And then it pairs it with the parameters that you have set, the speed that the laser needs to operate, the power that the laser needs to fire at and the positioning that the laser needs to be at. And it converts that information into code instructions that your laser understands. Now you might be thinking, I just spent a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand dollars on a laser that came with software and you want me to go out and download another software. Well, to that I would say, not necessarily. You see, a lot of these laser companies are starting to issue their own proprietary software that comes with the laser that you ordered. Just like if you were to go into the Apple store and buy a MacBook Pro, it's gonna come with Mac OS on it, not Windows. These companies would prefer that you have their hardware and their software to create the working environment. For example, if you bought the Xtool D1 Pro, it comes with the X1 Creative Space. If you bought an Epilogue, it comes with the Epilogue print driver. And if you bought a Glowforge, the Glowforge comes with its own Glowforge software. And if you're using the software that came with your laser and everything's working out great, your projects look good, it has all the features you want and you have no complaints, well, you don't need Lightburn. You can stop watching this video. Just keep watching the video. However, if that is not you, now I will give my four scenarios in which I think you should check out Lightburn. Scenario number one, we're gonna piggyback off of what we just discussed, and that is maybe you don't like the software that came with your laser. You don't like the layout, it doesn't have the features that you want, maybe you wanna run on a Mac, but it only works on Windows. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you just don't like the software that they gave you. And as long as your laser is compatible with third-party programs, which is very easy to check, you are under no obligation whatsoever to use their software. The caveat here being that there are a bunch of lasers that don't allow you to use third-party software. Off the top of my head, I know that Epilogues don't, and famously, the Glowforge do not. You have to use the software that comes with those lasers. But if your laser is on the Lightburn compatibility list, you can download it right now and get started. Scenario number two is the laser you bought does not come with its own software. This is actually extremely common. I know the Atom Stack doesn't come with its own software. The Otor that I have here doesn't come with its own software. However, they will suggest on their website software that you should use. I think most of them do suggest Lightburn, but they'll often also suggest a free alternative, maybe something like Laser Gerbil. Look, I'm not here to slander any other laser softwares. However, comparing Laser Gerbil to Lightburn is like comparing a Ford Escort to a Porsche. They're just not comparable in features and ease of use. So if you have one of these lasers that say on the website that they don't come with any software, the first thing you should do is check if it's compatible with Lightburn and try Lightburn first. Scenario number three, you're working in a multi-laser environment. Lasers are kind of like tattoos and that after you get one, you kind of end up just accumulating more somehow. And that's the scenario I have here, both the lasers and the tattoos. I have two working lasers and I have one on the way. All of them I'm working with under Lightburn. 
First laser I have here is the Otor Laser Master 3. It's a diode laser using a Gerbil controller. Next laser I have here behind me is the Boss 1630. It's a CO2 laser using the Ruda controller. And the laser I have on the way is a fiber laser. All of them are compatible with Lightburn. So instead of me having to operate two or three different softwares to run each of these lasers, I just have a drop down list in Lightburn where it keeps all of my settings and everything is in one neat area for me to work with. In scenario number four, you're just a student of the game. Uh, look, technology changes quickly in the laser space and Lightburn has quickly become the industry standard for consumer to hobby level laser software. So do you need Lightburn to get into laser engraving? The answer is, well, no. But Lightburn is probably the best laser software out there right now. And if you have a minute, it's probably worth your time to check it out. Thanks for watching.